morning. I'm about to film part two of my gym makeup video and go to the gym and everything and also it's Wednesday so I need to go put up a video. I'm very disoriented this week. I feel like it's only Tuesday because we had the long weekend so I'm like real confused. Also I just want to say this bra is so good and it's from the freaking warehouse. <laughs> like basically if you don't know when you sell in the warehouse it's like our uh, Okay, um, if you live in America, kind of like Target or something like that, I would say. It's like a kind of like cheap, big, huge shop where they've just got a bit of everything. Like clothing, beauty, housewares, food, like a little bit of everything. So this is from the warehouse, guys. I actually got it like months and months and months ago, probably like a year ago. But it makes your boobs look fabulous. Look at that. It's amazing. And it fits so tight. Like I've worn this a few times at the gym because I didn't want to say anything too soon because I was like, mm, maybe it'll be like bad while I'm working out. But I went for a little jog in this on the treadmill and it's fine. It actually looks so good. Don't you think? Even though I wear like t-shirts at the gym up to here. So like no one can appreciate this except for myself, but that's fine. Well, it's a butt ton of work. It's already 10.30. So I need to go to the gym and finish this and then I'm gonna film the Brad's makeup challenge. I'm so freaking excited. Ah. Okay, one last thing. I saw a comment yesterday of people asking how I knot my shirts. I always wear them, especially at the gym, cause like this just makes me feel really uncomfortable and I feel like it's not flattering, I don't know. I like to just like hitch it up a bit. That is just me. So basically you hitch it up. Sorry if this is obvious to some of you, but I wanted to help those out that don't know how to do it. And some tops are harder to do than others. Um, because they're like a bit tighter and this fabric's quite stiff so it's hard but you just roll it up so like roll it with your finger into this little thing and then go around and then you know loop it through and then it looks real awkward right then you want to keep hold of this tab and then just push it and this will kind of ruin your shirts so I wouldn't do it to a shirt that you don't want to like permanently wrinkle up a bit you know, it'll stretch it a little bit. But like a top like this, I would always wear like this. So, you know, it's fine. So that's how you do it. You just knot it in. You can do it on the side too if you want. But yeah, I hope that helped. Hello. So I just got back from my workout. Um, max 181, 620 calories. I'm stuffed. I filmed my update already for my foundation. So that video is now complete. I can put that up. But I said in the video I'm going to keep testing it out on my vlogs to see if I break out at any stage or anything like that. I'm just going to keep trying this foundation each morning. That's how obviously it looks. And I took it off on this side to show you guys what I look like underneath the foundation. <sighs> my abs are wrecked. Especially the side ones. They're not what they're called. But from the one where you like drop away and you use your abs to like go up again. Oh. Is sore. So I think later we're going to go back, well I'm going to go back to the gym with Hamish and do some leg workouts. So I haven't done them in a while. I feel like my knee is quite strong but I'll start out with a small amount of weights obviously and just go gradual and build up the strength some more but I just really want to get into doing some more like squats and kettlebell squats and stuff like that and I'm going to check on my plan and see what other workouts are on there as well. So yeah, abs day was done, legs day and then we've got like bag, shoulders, chest, arms, abs, again, maybe, I don't know. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> maybe. So I'm gonna go have a shower and start filming. I'm gonna do the Brett's challenge next. Scott, see you, bun. I haven't worn this skirt before. When I first bought it, it was so tight on me. And now I have room. By the way, I only do one scoop of this. It's just that I can't, like, it's almost empty, so I can't get a whole scoop at once. So I have to do, like, two half ones. Absolutely sensational. Sneak peek. So I changed my makeup again. I've got like black smudge all in my eyes because I didn't remove all the eyeliner properly, but I was just like, can't be bothered. Um, I got a parcel from Shiseido. Yay! Okay. So I haven't had a package from Shiseido in a little while. Louis, no, get, get. Thank you. Um, so they sent me the soft and cushy polisher. Shiseido. 
I know lots of people in New Zealand know of Shiseido. I think they own moisture mist too. You know, the foundation like we all used back in the day. Um, I don't know about international. How many of you guys have heard of Shiseido? It's a Japanese brand. Um, well, it's made in Japan. So this is a... Ooh, it's an exfoliator. Yes, I'll definitely try that. And then they sent a mega hydrating cream. Which sounds amazing. Ooh, cute packaging. Looks like a big jelly bean. So I have to give that a go when I need a new moisturizer. I'm trying on a new one at the moment. Though, um, I'm also still using my Clinique intensive hydrating, you know, the pink one. And then they also sent this. It looks like a ramen packet. <laughs> this is a um, silky smooth mochi mask. And I wonder what this is supposed to do. A fresh, warm and bouncy mask inspired by mochi. A Japanese rice confection. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Mix the powder with the liquid and create your own brand new skincare experience. The comforting, gooey sensation softens and relaxes the skin, leaving it fresh, smooth, and glowing with clarity. Use after cleansing and before skincare on clean, dry skin. Do not ingest. It's not a food. <laughs> I wonder if I should try that in like a skincare first impression video. Would you guys be keen? Because I was thinking about doing um a video on i don't know if you guys have seen it it's like viral on facebook at the moment it's like this blade that like scrapes off your skin so i was like i want to do a video on that but i don't know if it's just boring just to do that maybe i could like try a face mask in it too this one sounds interesting it says it's like a jelly like a bouncy mask i wonder if it's like real thick or something i should google what mochi is or mochi mochi i don't know but yeah looks like that i'm excited to give that a go and i love how they package it in a paper bag it's actually beautiful packaging I'm excited. Let me just go get like one more package that's like stored in my spare room. Louis looks so cute. Can you see him? <laughs> Little shit, I love you. I've actually had these since before New Year's. Whoops. Um, the first one here is from Tarte. Damn, your lips, they're looking like a snack. Snack, snickety, snack, snack, snack. There are Cheetos. Crushed chili peppers, which I'll use. Sriracha flavored almonds. Cheddar jalapeno crunchy Cheetos. And Louis. The Rainforest of the Sea. Z Sting. Louis! The Sting Zing Plumping Lip Serum. I'm so gonna try that out. Ooh. Sounds amazing. It's vegan and it has marine plant extracts, hyaluronic acid, and hot pepper fruit extract. And then we have some more Kylie stuff. What's in here? Midnight Kiss. It's been a while since I've done a freaking Kylie video. I need to try out some more of her stuff. In with the new. What are they? Are these metallic? Are they matte? Metal, yeah. Ugh. I mean, sometimes I like metal. You know me. I'm very picky. Naughty is the new nice. And then lastly, this was sent to my pair box. Beautiful Shannon, thank you so much for accepting this gift. Inside you'll find our newest shampoo and conditioner duo. It's vegan, organic, best ingredients. Do 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 do. This is how it looks. Oh, it matches my nails. It's a really cute picture. And inside, all oh, the packaging's so cute. Revitalizing shampoo and conditioner, I'm assuming. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fruity lollies. These contacts made me look so creepy right now. back it's an hour i can't remember how many calories i did but we did legs day hey 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 my legs are spilled look at this uh brand concoction of goodness this flavor that's good let's see if it's good you, is oh it? is this a different one to you say how many yeah how many so sugars this, this, how many sugars this one's rocky road three grams of carbs and it's got yeah two grams you said it you got it do you want to try it girl you try it Rocky Road. I bet you it won't taste like Rocky Road. What is Rocky Road again? Is it marshmallow? Marshmallow chocolatey. Yeah. You know, the chocolatey marshmallow. Rocky. Nice. It tastes good. It doesn't taste like Rocky Road. <sighs> Never tastes as good as it sounds, but yeah, it's still good. It tastes good, I reckon. I, I reckon it's not bad. I reckon if you were used to drinking milkshakes, you wouldn't like it, but since we're not used to drinking milkshakes, <laughs> it's just good. You did that with almond milk. Oh yeah, that'd be legit. That'd be good. But it's with water, so it's unexpectedly thin. You yeah, put it in your mouth and you're like... <laughs> yeah, there's no fitness. Yeah, it's true. You're like, Rocky Road sounds crunchy and thick. Yeah. Even any of the sh shapes sound quite thick. Yeah. Hamish, hey, what do you think about these contacts? Honest review. 
Uh, yeah, you look. Yeah. It looks like one of those girls you see in town where you're like, oh my god, your eyes are so crazy, and then it's just contacts. Yeah. Like not crazy as in bad, but as in wow, that's very oceany, bluey. Yeah, Hamish, because our flatmate wore contacts like this, and Hamish thought that was that was her real eye color forever. And then one I day, forever, just well, for a long time, like a couple months, and then she came out, we're not wearing them, and you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it's tripping me out. Actually. It's sweaty glow. I love this angle. It's so stunning. Can I do one for you? Now let's make social. Yeah, so if you want to look hot on social media, it's like, hey guys, just. Is it gonna... Hey guys. I look like a spider. You've got no chin. Go like this. There you go, that's better. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, and then you get the go. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. The emo angle. That's what I like to call it. The emo angle. Mm. You had emo breath just then. Excuse me? <laughs> it's, just, it's your shitty rocky road shape. It, I, can, I don't want to smell my breath <laughs> Woo! Wee! <laughs> Hamish. My abs are wrecked. They're hurting more now. Your abs are wrecked, mine are wrecked, and also, um, yesterday, we did our abs. Didn't hurt then. Today, I can't even set up. I was trying to set up before. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, mm. We're gonna this go. This is what that's what you meant to have happen now. It's eleven thirty. I feel like we're starting to slowly go to bed a little bit earlier. But last night I couldn't sleep till like two AM. Earlier? It was eleven thirty earlier. Well we were going to sleep at like midnight, one, two AM sometimes. I mean, that's only if we watch something. Yeah. Yeah. Two, did you say? No. There was one night we went to sleep at two. Okay, there's a one off then. It's got to be. And then we wake up early, it's not good. Anyway. Oh, by the way, guys, if there's anything we should watch on Netflix, let us know. Not in America, though. You yeah, guys, New Zealand you Netflix. Got, you guys with the good Netflix can get wrecked. Yeah, we don't get all the same shows as America. It's you guys get way more than us, but yeah.